So we're seeing here the variety of issues that could happen simply setting up as a developer device. We would have similar things to do over for the iPhone side, although over for the iPhone side it's I still think it's more complicated. One of the things that makes it complicated is uh, you need to register your device officially with Apple. Right here we don't have to register with Google. We're not done yet. If I look back at my handout, we were trying to do step one, then step two, then there's a step three. Run your app on your real device. Here's how we'll do this to see if this fully works. Um, I forgot to save my app from Tuesday. No problem. That'll give us a little bit of, of, uh, of practice to create an app one more time just for testing purposes. So let's do this. Remind me, how do I get back to my command prompt again? Go to your start menu and then start typing on the command here. Node. Node should be fine, but you want node, and then it'll pop up here, node.js command prompt. You want to select the one of command prompt. Wherever this loads up here, don't worry about it just yet. We just want to get this done quickly, so we'll do taco. Whatever, we just need the command prompt. Yeah. We'll do taco create um, test. We're not going to get too fancy yet. Just taco create test. We didn't specify a package ID name. We didn't specify an app name. Don't worry, we'll, we'll do it correct later. Taco create test. So now we need to type cd space test. The project that we just created, if it was successful, now we need to change directory into the test project. Make sure that your prompt here then ends with test. I'm in the test folder. We'll do taco platform add Android. Taco platform add Android. Let that process. It might take yours a little bit longer than mine. But eventually, at the end, then you want to type taco run android space dash dash device before you, before you press enter. Taco run android dash dash, that's two dashes, device before you press enter. What might happen especially for the very first time I notice I've noticed with people you press that and you type it and then something pops up here that says uh, again would you like to activate debug it like it asks you twice sometimes and so I notice that people are looking at their screen waiting and waiting and waiting and they never press OK on the device and then since you never pressed OK here it crashes over here on the computer because you never said OK on your device so keep an eye both on your computer and your device, press enter, and you might see on your device that it'll give you another pop up that says, Are you sure you want to connect your computer? There's going to be a little check mark perhaps that'll say, Always allow from this machine. Activate that and click OK. Again, there's going to be some variation. Some of you might see it, some of you might not, but keep an eye both on your computer and your device. If on your device it's telling you, Debug, yes or no? Say yes. Mine is saying installing on device. Mine says failed. Install failed update incompatible. May not have the required environment or OS. Hmm. Taco platform. So you see, I don't always also have it run perfectly. But what I'm going to do is unplug it and replug it in. Sometimes it forgets it's plugged in. Let me try that. I'll plug it, plug it in again. Remember, you can press up. Remember, you can press up on the keyboard to bring back your last command. So I'm going to do the exact same command again. All I did was unplug it and replug it. That error 
Let's see what happens. Oh, I think I remember what this one is. I already have a test app here that I called test, so, so I need to delete mine from my device. There's a lot of nuances. I forgot I already tried it. Let's see. Okay, here we go. So it's it's popping up on my device now, and I see Apache, uh, Cordova, and uh, Alberto, can you confirm right here that I do have Apache Cordova on my device? Mm -hmm. Yep, so right here. Confirmed that I did this, and it's on my device. What's that? What's that? Oh, yes. But it takes too long to start. So uh, Apache Cordova is on my is on my device. Um, how many of you did it work? How many of you did did you get your Cordova app running on your device like me? At least one or two people. Okay. So again, this is going to be a lot of variation for people. So what I will do is again this is I'm just going off from right here where I'm on in node and then I'm in my project and I'm doing taco run Android device see if it loads up on my device if it didn't it says try to do this step back here again try to install your driver again try this try this try that if none of this is working maybe you need to go to 3b maybe you need to go to the older device method if none of that works your device might not be compatible and I have nothing more to say about that it's not compatible Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't, but again, I've been teaching this class for three years, and 90% of the time this works. 10% of the time, for some reason, it just doesn't work with your device. Sometimes, weirdly, it's the cable. For a few people, sometimes you do everything and it's your cable. Um, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll take our break um, just to make sure that if this is working for everyone we can see if it if it's working if not again we'll have to use a virtual device so we're gonna take a break at 716 we'll take a short break 720 uh, or so and when we come back we will we will proceed what you should do during the break confirm that you're able to run the Cordova app on your device if it's not working at all look at the handout about creating a virtual device all is not lost if you cannot use your real device. You'll have to use a virtual device. Look at handout number two on how to create a virtual device during the break. So we'll take a short break and then we'll, we'll continue.